Welcome to the podcast by Mata. I'm your host, Joe Mata. And today we have a very special guest with us from the adult industry. Can you please welcome Ms. Tegan James? How are we doing today? Good. How are you? All right. Doing good. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to ask you a question that I ask pretty much all the guests, and it's because I enjoy hearing all the different type of answers that, that I get from it. How did you get into the adult industry? That is a very good question. Um, I, I've received this question a couple times, and I've been thinking about it more and more and more. Um, there's a lot of things that led me into the adult industry. Um, uh, I actually, like, uh, I always wanted to be a Playboy Playmate. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of my cousins, who's a lot older than me, um, I would sneak into his room with all my other cousins, and he had Playboy Playmate posters up all over his room. And I always thought that they were gorgeous. And that didn't lead me into the adult industry, but I ended up modeling. And then afterwards, I, you know, I, I was a late bloomer into my sexuality, but I've always been, you know, very sexual. And I actually wanted to start. Uh, doing porn three years ago, but just doing girl, girl. And um, as time has gone on and I experimented more, I, um, I fully, fully ended up um, getting into the adult industry. But I ended up getting in the adult industry because you know, I was interested in it, and I have a really good friend who, um, she has her own production company. I'm sure you guys have heard of her, Jody West. Mm-hmm. And um, she took me un- under her wing and, um, you know, really made sure, like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do porn? And I say, yes, I am sure I want to do porn. So um, I actually did my first scene ever with her, and, um, and I really eased my way into the adult industry. Um, and it was an awesome, amazing experience. Okay, all right, great. Yeah, that was going to be my next question, was tell us about your first experience. What was that? I'm sorry. No, I'm saying um, that was going to be my next question. You know, can you tell us about your first experience, with, you know, doing a scene and whatnot? Okay, my first experience, so I did a girl girl, and um, I, I like, I'm bisexual and I like women and men. Um, and so my first experience was doing a girl girl with Jody West. Um, and it was, it was an amazing, fun experience. Um, I actually had some friends of mine <clears throat> at my first scene. They were super supportive. Um, they like helped out with any lighting or sound and, um, yeah, it was just, it was a lot of fun. So it was just basically talking about me, um, you know, doing my first scene, you know, that I, like, actually do really like women, um, and, and yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun. I, I mean, I, I feel really lucky that my first experience, we were, like, surrounded by all my friends, and it was, you know, it was a, you know, uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I, I had a lot of fun. I, I just can't say anything else other than I had a lot of fun. All right, all right, great. Now, um, <clears throat> Being that you did your your first scene around your friends, did it did it make you more relaxed that they were there, or did it make you even more nervous that you had your friends watching you do this? So um, these friends of mine really know that I'm a little crazy and I'm a little freaky, and uh, so they already know that about me. So it was actually I was more at ease with them being there because they already know how I am. Okay. Um, at the same time, I was a little nervous, just a little bit, because I'm like, oh, my God, like, I've never masturbated in front of them. Or, you know, they've actually seen me, like, make out or hook up with girls or guys, so it's not such a weird thing. But um, but it was, I, I was a little nervous because this is on video, so it was a little different, and it's not like it was... You know, we were all hanging out, partying, or anything like that. So it's a little bit of a different experience. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now, what um, what important lessons have you learned so far being in the industry? What important lessons have I learned? Yes. <clears throat> wow. Um, 
Um, <laughs> I, I've learned a lot of different things, but I'm not quite sure if everyone has the same experience as I have. Like, um, I have definitely learned like how to position my body and how to move myself and how to have better angles and I, I mean I think that even like acting wise I've learned that um, uh, there's little di- like tricks that people have mm-hmm. um, but I think the big thing that I've learned um, and I think that this could transfer into anybody's life is that um, your job doesn't define who you are so just because I do porn does not mean that you know, I'm going to automatically sleep with anybody or that um, I'm always up for sex. Um, And it doesn't define me as a person like that, you know, all that I'm only good at doing, you know, having sex because I'm actually good at so many different things. And I notice that a lot of the women who are in the porn industry, there are a lot of really bright women who are really big entrepreneurs who have other side businesses and are really like, you know, have their stuff really together where they're, this is like a brand. They're, they're really marketing themselves in a really big way. And, um, that I don't think that everyone sees how bright and smart some of these women are because they're really just, you know, they're entrepreneurs, whether they have a website or they have a side business or, <laughs> You know, um, they end up selling their Snapchat or Skype shows or they have a lot of things going on. And there's just, I'm amazed. And um, I mean, I always knew that all these women were really smart, but I'm just amazed at how, like, uh, how many different um, businesses and avenues they have. And they're like the nicest people ever. Everyone that I met is super nice down to earth. Everyone's really friendly. um, And I feel like... uh, I feel like I, I'm learning a lot from everyone, so I'm really excited about being in the industry. Right, right, that's for sure. Yeah, and <clears throat> we, we, um, referring to this, um, there's someone in the industry, I haven't had a chance to interview her yet, but my understanding is, is I'm not going to bring up her name or anything, but she is an engineer, and she's in the adult industry because she likes the people, she loves what she does. I mean, she could go and make, you know, five times as much as she's making now being an engineer, but she chooses because she likes to do this. Yeah, I mean, I have to say the adult industry, I mean, everyone is so friendly. Um, Everyone's really kind and caring, um, you know, down to the, to, to anyone, like the makeup people, the producers, the directors, the photographers, I mean, the talent, everyone's really amazing. Um, every single day that, you know, whenever I shoot, I feel so lucky to be able to shoot and to meet people. And um, everyone's just beyond friendly and working with everyone's great. And it's almost like, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've I've had many different jobs in different fields, and this is the one field where I actually love so much what I do. I mean, I love sex, but I also love what I do because of the people. The people make it so amazing and so fun that I can't wait to go to work, and I can't wait to like meet everyone, hang out with people. Um, it's just such a fun experience, and sometimes you really don't care if you're there for fourteen hours. I mean, depending on the shoot, depending on the film, you just don't care because everyone's so fun and so cool. It's just like the best experience ever. So I just can't wait to go to work. Right, right. Yeah, this is definitely an industry where everyone is like a family. They all take care of each other. And uh, and proof of that was when they had this Prop 60 thing going on. This is when I, that's when I first started my, uh, my podcast. So I wanted to help support you know the cause and everything. And just some of the people that I've met um, through this show, it, it just they they are just so loving of each other, and they're a really tight knit group, and, and they love what they do, and they love the people that that they work with. Like you said, from from the actor to the makeup artist to the, even the caterer who, who does you know who maybe do in the catering. You know, it, it's all like a really nice tight knit little family, and I like that. Yes, everyone is so awesome. I mean, seriously, I love the people I've met. Um, 
Like some of the makeup artists that I met are so awesome that I mean, I went to my first AVN, and um, I've had this one makeup artist do my makeup twice, and she's so cool and so friendly that I was like, you know, if you're going to go to the AVNs, like, and I'm going to stay the, you know, the days that you stay there, come stay with me. Like, just come stay in my room. I mean, I would be more than happy to share and have someone stay with me, especially since they're, like, just so beyond cool. Like, yes, come stay with me. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, you can do makeup in my room. Like, I don't care. Um, just the people are so awesome. I just, I, I feel really blessed yeah, in, yeah. in the industry. Yeah, definitely. I've seen a lot of that on uh, Twitter, you know, from, from people in the adult industry who actually lived in Vegas, you know. Um, putting tweets out there to <clears throat> people in the industry, you know, if you don't got a place to stay, you know, if I got two rooms, you you know, you feel free to stick, come stay with me. Yeah. So, okay, now, I uh, mean, okay. No, go ahead, sorry. Okay, no, I was just going to, um, I was just going to refer to, um, what has been your best scene so far that you've shot and, and why? Um, you know, I've seen... I've seen all the scenes that I've come out that have come out so far. And um, there's some scenes that haven't come out that I think were really, really good, but they just haven't, I, I, I can't say right. yet because I haven't seen them. Right. But I think so far, my best scene was the one that just last came out, um, my browser scene with Karen Lee. And... Um, I, I feel like it was really good because I feel like I was, <laughs> um, I think I let loose more and I was like more into it. And I think that, um, like it was just together, me and Kieran as performers, we performed well and it was hot and exciting. Um, I also think that maybe I'm, grown more into my acting capabilities or skills than before. Okay. Um, I do think that there are two two scenes that haven't come out yet that are going to be really great, and I can't wait to see those, too. But I think so far, my best one was my last one with Karen Lee. Okay. Now, that's, um, I believe it's called Tipping the Driver or something? Something to that yes. effect? Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Now, um, do you, I mean, I, I, being in the industry, you guys are constantly on the road, going back and forth. Um, you're spending a lot of time on set. Um, do you cook or do you just usually just go to a restaurant? And if you can cook, can you give me an example of like a dinner you would make? Okay, this is crazy. I cook all my food. Okay. I make all my food. I can't speak for other performers. Um, Whenever, wherever I go, I land and I literally will like buy chicken or turkey and I will make all my food for like, for the next like two days or something. And then I will buy more food and I'll make my food for the next two or three days whenever I'm shooting. I usually shoot a couple of days in a row or have a day in between. And so I time everything. And I usually eat six to seven times a day. I just eat small meals all day. So um, I literally time <clears throat> all my food and work it around um, work it around shooting. But I literally bring all my food. Um, if I don't have time to make my food personally, um, there are companies that do like you know. I used to be really into like competing for fitness, mm -hmm. and so there are companies who do meal prep. And I have contacted them before, and they've made my food for the week. Um, so if I can't make it by myself, I have someone make my food. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, um, now you've, you've worked with uh, companies, um, you know, Girls' Way, North Pole, Reality King, Zero Tolerance, Brothers, yeah. and such. Not. Is there a company that you haven't worked with yet that you'd like to? Mm, I would love to work with Digital Playground. And <laughs> we'll see. So I want to work with Digital Playground and uh, Wicked, Jules Jordan, um, Dixon, Tushy. I mean, there's tons. I mean, there's tons of companies that I still want to work okay. with. So um, 
yes, there's a lot of companies I still that are blacked. I mean, there's tons. I, I can't even um, Archangel. I mean, there's tons. Yeah. I, I don't even. <laughs> okay. But I, I, Oh, that was just, like I said, it was just, it was just a, 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 a general question, maybe, you know, like your, your top two or three that you, you'd want to, you'd want to work with. Wow. Um, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I think like seriously from the list, the, the people that I just listed, I would be super happy to work with any of them. Okay. All of them. Um, <laughs> I'm just really super thankful and grateful when I get these, you know, my shoots that I do get. And I feel really lucky that I have worked with really big companies, um, especially since I just started out two months ago. So I feel very blessed. All right. Okay. Now, um, now does play in your personal life ever feel like work? Playing in my personal life. Oh, you mean having sex yes. in my personal life? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, I think that I'm a little different in my personal life than I am in my um, in my real life, only because it's not some. Um, you know, when you watch porn, it's really exciting that someone's all dressed up, they have all the makeup, the hair, all the glamour, um, and then you end up getting to play this. It's almost like a role. Like every single time, I'm playing a role. Right. Either I'm like the stepmom, or I'm the mom, or I'm the friend of the stepmom, or you know, I'm a naughty teacher or something. Right. In my regular day-to-day -day life, it's not like that. I mean, I do dress up and I look pretty, but it's not exactly the same thing. Um, I think that in my personal life, I like to... I like to try more things, so I'm more adventurous because in my films right now, I'm just doing either boy-girl or boy-girl-girl, or I've done girl-girl or girl-girl-girl. So that's different, but I, you know, sometimes in my personal life, I'll do boy, boy, girl, or, uh, you know, I've done DP, or, you know, and, and I haven't done that in a while, but um, I'm more adventurous to try different things. Okay, okay. Now, um, you used to be, um, I understand, a fitness model, or you in fitness competitions? I did, yes. Can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about that? Um, sorry, say that again? Okay, I was saying, can you tell us a little more about about that? Yeah, so I did <clears throat> I did bodybuilding, so bikini, and um, I'm really into fitness, so I love working out. I love sports, and so I really got into competing because of that. And, um, and yeah, I actually, like, helped people uh, with food plans and working out, and um, that was my thing. But I like, I, I got into it because I, I really love working out. I really love fitness. <clears throat> and I like challenging myself. So I like to see how, how strong or how far I can go or what I can do. So, um, yeah, I love it. And I competed and um, I competed and became a nationally qualified, um, you know, uh, bikini competitor. Okay. All right. Now, um... Now, if people who are listening, if you go to her Twitter page, um, you'll be able to tell that her fans love her. I mean, they are some retweeting motherfuckers, I tell you. Um, <laughs> I mean, her fans adore her. Um, so if you get a chance, you know, go to her, her Twitter page for sure. Oh, and I uh, have great fans. I do have great fans. Yeah, well, and, 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 and you have great fans is because, you, you know, you, you interact with them a lot, you know, and... and that's just basically, you know, how these days, you know, the best way to be successful is be more interactive with your fans and, and, and you know, and just basically love them. I try. I, I really try. It's hard because sometimes I do get a lot of messages and I wish that I could, I could um, even pay more attention to them. Right, right. Now, um, I, I've had the chance to have... Uh, Lynn Vega and uh, Mindy Mink on my show. Uh, have you had a chance to do any scenes with them? No, I have not. Not yet, because that would be fun and exciting. Yeah, it would. Yeah, they are definitely two two very good performers. Oh, awesome! Well, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put that on my list of people to work with. Okay. All right. <laughs> now let's um 
let's talk about the 34 triple D's. Oh, my boobs, yes. Yes. How, um, <laughs> t- now, um, before that, what, what, what size were they usually? Um, I was, unfortunately, I was not very gifted as a child with boobs. Um, my mother is, um, a triple D E and my grandmother was like a G and for wow. some odd reason, God gave me like the, uh, God did not give me boobs. So I was flat as a board. I think I was like an A. So I decided at 22 that I was going to get boobs and, um, no matter what, no matter what anyone said, I was going to get them. It didn't matter if, like, guys wanted to be with me or wanted to be with me. I was going to get boobs, and that's it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted boobs, and uh, anyone who would be with me at the time had to understand that I was going to do this. Okay, okay. Now, um, now before you got into cam movies, I understand that you used to work for a dentist office? I did, Okay. Um, what, were you a hygienist or worked the front desk or what? So I worked the front desk and I was going to actually start transitioning into being a dental assistant. And um, I actually previously went to school and was going to be a dental hygienist. Um, so I was working at a dental office um, and I just noticed that I didn't really like it as much. I mean, I like teeth a lot. And um, for some odd reason, things in the mouth, you know, like bad breath or abscesses or like crowded teeth or things like that, or even cracked teeth did not bother me. I mean, I even saw a whole um, procedure of a crown being um, drilled and formed and like blood going everywhere and there was pus and I mean, it didn't bother me at all. It didn't phase me. And, um, but I don't know. It just, I didn't really enjoy. I didn't enjoy it. And, uh, I got out of it. Okay. Okay. Now, um, since you've been in the industry, um, do you get recognized in, in, you know, in real life? And if so, do you have any funny stories interacting with the fans? (laughs) I have not gotten recognized just yet. <laughs> um, I probably have friend. I just have more friends of mine that actually know, and they're like, "Oh, so we saw your picture, or we saw you on Twitter, or we saw you on Instagram," and they'll tell me that. And so I know the people who have recognized me because they're actually friends of mine. I've actually gotten um, text messages from friends who said like oh, my God, we've known you for years, and we just saw your browser scene with Kieran Lee. Oh, my God, that was so hot. Um, I can't believe that that's you. I can't believe we're watching you. And I get that more than I get, like, people recognizing me. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I mean, maybe one day soon someone actually (laughs) comes up to me and says something. Okay. All right. Now, um, what's an ordinary day like for you? being outside of the industry so when I don't when I'm not shooting I'm usually like I wake up at like 7 in the morning and I start getting ready I work out for like probably like two and a half hours sometimes I'll tan I'll come home I'll take a shower get ready I'll cam also in that time like I'll take care of my dogs I have three dogs And then, you know, I'll do, like, I'll cam, I'll change outfits. I, like, cook and clean. Um, I take my dogs out. I'll go to maybe, like, a class, some kind of class later on, or meditation or something fun. Um, And then I usually, like, stretch and then get ready for the next day. Um, That's during the week. And, um. I mean, when I when I shoot, it's completely different. And I usually actually have that schedule just because of the fact that if I shoot the following week, there's going to be days where I might not work out because if I'm on set, you know, I have to be there at 9 o'clock. I wake up at 7. I'm done at like 6 or 7. I have to get ready for the next day. There's really no time to work out. So I might not work out for like four days. And um, so 
So I usually then work out as much as I possibly can. So when I shoot, and I shoot for days worth, then I have like, I'm just set. And then I come back and repeat. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, what advice would you give someone uh, who wants to get into the industry? Um, I guess there's a couple of things that I would say to them. Like, first, like, think about why, think about why you're getting into the industry. Like, what about it do you really like? And the reason why I say that is I've met many, many women um, when I first started in the industry. I met a lot of young girls who were like, I just want to do this because I want money. I want this because I haven't slept around as much. I want this, I want to do porn because I need a lawyer. I want to do porn because um, I want people to like me. I mean, and these are genuine reasons, but um, I want women to really think about why they really want to do it. And most of the reason be like, you know, I really do like sex. I want to be in the industry because I it's freeing. I can know really be who I am I can I cannot be I don't have to be ashamed of my sexuality Um, I would like the money but I want to use the money to have another business I want them to be really think about it and the reason why is you know um, it is it's really important that whatever you do, you really love and you really do it for like a good reason. And it's just like if you if you got into marketing, why would you get into marketing? You want to actually leg your job, not be miserable in your job. The adult industry is a little different. And so I think that you just really want to be kind to yourself and really know that if you do this, a lot of people you know might know that you do this. And it's okay. But then how are you going to deal with it if they do know? Are you going to be embarrassed or you're not going to be embarrassed? Are you going to own it or are you not going to own it? And just like my friend told me, are you sure you want to do porn? Because just imagine that everyone's going to know that you're going to do porn. And if you're okay with that and you're comfortable and you like what you're doing, then do it. But if you don't, you don't like sex, if you would be totally ashamed that everyone knew, if you would feel like dying, if you would feel bad, if you feel embarrassed, then don't do it. The adult industry is an amazing industry to be in, but it really has to be the industry that you want to be in and you love to be in, and, um, you know, for good reasons. Okay. All right. Good, 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 some good advice there from, from Tegan James. Now, where can, uh, where can fans find you on social media? So I have a couple different, I have now an Instagram, so you can see me on the official Tegan James Instagram. Um, you can also find me on Twitter at Tegan James triple X, and I'm on Snapchat at the Tegan James. And let's see, um, I cam on Stream 8, so you can see me on Stream 8. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lot, that's a lot already, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Now, um, will you be attending Exotica in Denver? When is that? Uh, I don't think. uh, End of March? March 31st, I believe. Oh, that is exciting. You know, I haven't planned it yet, but I might have to actually go out there for that. That would be fun. Okay. All right. Hopefully you'll be there for sure. Now, um, I want to give a big thanks, uh, of course, to Erica from The Rub PR. Uh, Without her, this show wouldn't have been able to, to happen today. Um, you can find her at twitter.com forward slash the rub PR. That's capital T H E capital R U B capital P R. And I want to uh, give it thanks again to Erica for, for making this possible. I also want to thank our guest today, Ms. Tegan James. Thank you for being on today. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. And we would definitely love to have you back on in, in the, in the near future sometime. And do um, you have anything uh, in closing you'd like to say to your fans and listeners? Um, yes, thank you everyone for being fans and following me and giving me so much love and support. I really appreciate it. And um, and yes, please stay tuned to anything else I do next. <laughs>
All right. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, you'll be able to find this, or actually this show here, you'll be able to find it here in, in by this afternoon. We'll be on the SoundCloud, also on YouTube, and both of those, you just look us up uh, under the podcast by Mata. Uh, I'd like to thank you again for, for listening, and we'll see you next time.